Welcome, Annie Collins here for Rosie Studios Creative Club. Today we're going to create this holiday card. Let's quickly go over the, com the items I used to create this card. I'm using the old Joyful Day 6x6 pad and I'm going to give you a quick thumb through. I've gone over this really thoroughly in previous videos and they're part of the playlist labeled Rosie Studios. So here's a quick thumb through. I'm going to be using this paper here. I'm going to let me open up the cover and you can see it's this one here with the pink and the has the figgy pudding and holly berries. The Old Joyful Day Ephemera Pack. From the Ephemera Pack, we're going to be using this cute little gingerbread house and the pink holly berries. This is my Ephemera. I repackaged it because my packaging broke. We'll be bringing in from the All Wrapped Up Collection the stamp set and this is the sentiment stamp set and I'm going to use the happy holiday sentiment from my stash this calls for a confetti I'm going to using the pearlescent confetti I'm going to set everything to the side so I'm going to show you the components that we have for our card I'm going to create an A2 size card okay. so I have my card base here and it's um, side opening I have the paper here that I've already cut it's going to be a quarter of an inch shorter all the way around and I used a die for that from my stash. Some white cardstock to have this white rectangle this is where our little gingerbread house ephemera will sit on here and it's so cute it has these other florals on here and I have this the holly berry and I the holly berries in this eph ephemera pack have red berries and pink berries. I chose this one with the pink because it coordinates nicely with the pattern paper. And I have a sentiment strip cut from white cardstock. Again, we'll be using the Happy Holidays sentiment. So let's go ahead and jump into our card. I'm gonna bring in my stamping platform. It has a sticky mat in it. And I'm gonna remove the um, protective layer here so we can start stamping. I'm going to take the sentiment strip and line it up with the grid of the sticky mat so that it'll hold it in place and I know that it's straight. Get my sentiment and I'm going to place my sentiment over to the right. And the reason why I'm doing that is because I want to leave this little area here to attach my holly berries to. So now I'm going to make sure it's lined up. Once it is, I'm ready to stamp. I'm going to be using some VersaFine Onyx Black ink and VersaFine ink is great because it's a nice um, detail ink so it's great for those thin sentiments and things like that. I'm going to stamp it twice so I have a nice crisp dark sentiment then I'll peel that up off the sticky mat and remove the, not remove, replace, <laughs> replace that cover on that sticky mat and I'll clean my sentiment after the fact. All right, I'm gonna bring in the rest of the components here, and we're gonna work first with our sentiment. Now, I'm being gonna be very careful with my sentiment because it's still wet. Uh, that is one thing about VersaFine ink, it takes a little bit longer to dry. Now I'm going to go ahead and bring in some Barely Art Gloom, and I'm gonna adhere those berries right there on the left-hand corner of that strip, and then I'm just gonna set this over to the side to dry. We're going to adhere, bring in, I'm sorry, we're going to bring in that re white rectangle that I cut out from white cardstock using a die from my stash. And those corners are nice and rounded. I'm going to adhere the ephemera onto this. Make sure it's centered, press it nice in place so I can flip it over and add some foam adhesive. I'm using low profile foam adhesive here. I picked this up off of Amazon. They come in four by six sheets and they also come in strips, which are perfect for us for sentiment. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut a piece and place it on the center. And then I'll use those thin sentiment strips, like I said, on the top and the bottom. Um, I just had a, some leftover pieces from a previous uh, project. So I'm gonna use all that up first going to fill in the left and the right. I got this last little piece here. Fill it add in, remove the backing, stick it on here. And now our piece is ready. Going to set that off. And we're going to adhere our uh, pattern paper onto our card base. I'm just checking, make sure my card base was 
correct way. I've glued this on pattern paper the wrong way more than I care to admit. All right, so I'm using again the Barely Art Liquid Adhesive and I'm glad I did because I didn't put this down straight. So with liquid adhesive, it get, you have some time to play with things, get peel them up, just peel them up gently so that you don't rip anything. And then you can replace everything nice and even like I did here. Now that I have that all set, I'm gonna go ahead and bring in our ephemera piece. I'm gonna go ahead and remove all the backing off of the foam adhesive. And I'm gonna place this towards the top. I'm gonna make sure it's centered and then I'll press that down. Now we're gonna bring in our sentiment. I'll be placing it about there. I'm gonna flip it over and add some more foam adhesive onto that. I'm using the same thin foam adhesive I used before. I'm going to cover the entire sentiment as well as the little pieces of the um, holly that are sticking out because I want it to be nice and even. Don't want anything buckling while you send this out. The good thing about this foam adhesive is that since it's thin, you don't have a lot of bulk, so you won't require a bunch of extra um, stamps to mail. All right, I'm gonna place this just under our um, ephemera here. I'm gonna get that lined up, make sure it's nice and straight, and press it into place. Now you can call your card done here, but like I said, I brought in my confetti and I'm going to place this in a triangle or sort of a triangle shape above and below our um, focal point and our sentiment. And I'm going to bring in a small, medium, and large of the confetti and I'm going to get them all placed on there. So I have the medium one near the berries, the larger one below the sentiment, and the tiny one towards the top. And here we are, our card is finished. Those confetti give a nice little sparkle. See, I'm showing you here, low profile, no, ex no bulk stamping needed. Okay, and inside I will probably use one of these uh, sub sentiments that are on this stamp set and place it inside. I'll do that off screen. I have to choose which one I want. So let's go over again what we use to create this. We use the all wrapped up stamp, um, this is the sentiment stamp. We use the Happy Holidays. The O oh Joyful Day Ephemera Pack and the O oh Joyful Day 6x6 Pattern Paper. Now this set comes in 12x12 12 12 and 6x6. I have the 6x6. I'll have everything linked for you in the description box below. Once again, here's another look at the card. Thank you for being here and I hope you found some inspiration. Mm -hmm.